Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Um, I'm a sixth grade language arts teacher in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is my Two Roads um, slide deck. Two Roads is a novel um, that is written by Joseph Bruchak. Um, so if you're familiar with it, this is my slide deck um, that I have for sale on Teacher Pay Teacher. And this is just walking you through all that you get if you decide to purchase this. So this video is for teacher friends. Um, this is the third novel that I teach, but my kids um, are taught in unit one how to annotate. And so I included my lesson on how to teach annotating for first timers. It's in my Percy Jackson slide deck. It's in my Boy Who Harnessed the Wind slide deck. And I included it again, just in case this is the only one that you are purchasing. So it's a quick mini lesson on how to annotate and what annotating is. This slide deck also is fully editable, so you can change anything that you want. All right, so we start off with the novel here. You examine the cover because it's relevant to the story. And then we do a gallery walk, um, which is an infer the topic. So the students are going to look at resources. I usually print these and hang them out in the hallway. And the kids walk around, read the sources, read the captions. Um, and then they infer, you don't need to see all of this. Um, then we start with a steel chart. A steel chart is just a graphic organizer for how to characterize. Um, and so this is setting the expectation for what they're going to do with chapter one. So I put my example of how to do it with the Cal as the main character, his thoughts, and then the students are going to try doing it with what they see Cal's actions are in the first chapter. Here's some building background for things that they don't know, like Devil's Paintbrush is a machine gun during World War I. All right, so every chapter is set up like this. This is an audio. This is actually my YouTube channel. This is the first YouTube video I ever made, actually. Um, <clears throat> chapter Two Roads, Chapter One. So I don't really play these in class. These are for students who are absent or for whatever reason they have to do this on their own. Um, it really helps. I like audio because it helps with attention. I always require that students follow along in the book because they are required to annotate. So focus annotations for my school is things that they're looking for specifically based on that chapter. Um, and then gisting is just three two. well, you can actually make it less, two to three uh, statements um, that are the main events from that chapter. It actually helps them when they go back and do writing assignments later on. If they have good gists, they know what happens in each chapter and it's easy to find information. So here's a review on theme topics. We're given the page number. They go to the page number. They find a quote. They support um, their thinking with a quote and they choose what figurative language it is. This is all a review. Then here is building background. The more background knowledge they have on a novel, the better off they're going to connect to it. So this walks them through the Great Depression, Herbert Hoover, and what life was like during the time period of this book. All right, here's another chapter um, slide. This is for chapter two. And then this one says book club style. So book club style, I have kids in groups of five or six it's all levels in my book clubs and they read and annotate together. In sixth grade, this is the best support that I have seen. And then you're making sure that all students are actually reading and following along and meeting expectation. We don't do this for every chapter. And then there are many, I'm not going to show you all of them in this video because this video, this uh, slide deck is 200 something slides, I think. And that would take forever. But this link at the bottom, there are links to so many docs. So you have a link for your students. You can print this or you can do it digital. Um, all kinds of work. Here's a chapter two analysis. So they're going to work with a partner and analyze specific things that happened in chapter two. More chapter reads, more chapter reads. Here is the book calls it American Indian Boarding School. Um, and so um, Joseph Bruchak details it that in the back, there is a huge back section and afterward after the book, it's actually, you'll use it a lot and it gives a lot of building background information. And so you're going to read chapter five, the kids will read, and then they will uh, complete this map to um, do all the characteristics of school. Here is one 
done for you. So lots of teaching slides. Here's an activity on Manifest Destiny, which is a social studies topic. Um, this lends itself to what was going on in America at the time. Um, so this is a jigsaw that kids will complete um, with vocabulary. And then this is really cool. Our assistant principal used to be an eighth grade history teacher, and he wrote this lesson for us. Um, and so what it is, is it's showing them a painting little by little and having them figure out what is going on. And this ties in with Manifest Destiny. And they're making inferences. Then questions, a quick video about the Trail of Tears. Um, vocabulary, the words assimilate, acculturate, and, ge acculturate and genocide are big topics in this book. Um, so they'll examine these big words in vocabulary. Okay, so here's the first lesson where they're actually using the afterword at the end of the book that Joseph Bruchak wrote to give more context, read and answer questions. Then here, they're going to analyze the speech. Now, the book is uh, fictional. Even the school that they go to is fictional. But Captain Pratt was a real person at a real boarding school. Um, and so he gave a speech, and the speech is very high-level vocabulary, and the kids are going to... Um, work on that and decoding. And then you learn about point of view is a big topic for us in sixth grade. What is Captain Pratt's point of view? So Captain, the point is Captain Pratt actually thinks that what he is doing is right. And um, the kids catch on real quick um, that he's doing what he thinks is right, but what he's actually doing is very, very wrong. Um, so then here's more chapter pages. Standard annotations are detailed in the slide previously that I did not show you. Standard annotations are any annotations that the kids want to write. Focus are the ones that you specifically tell them to do. And it does tell you the difference between them in this slide deck. All right, here's another cool activity with a map um, for them to connect what they're doing. So they're going to do a map on should school uniforms be mandatory in a public school, middle school, and then... The kids will do this activity together. It does a great group discussion. And then you're going to connect it to Captain Pratt's speech. So these groups, how are they stakeholders in what Captain Pratt's speech was about? Um, here's a fun activity. I think I do. No, this is not the activity. Sorry. This is a memoir. This is a um, nonfiction memoir by Isaac Colasaw, who was a Native American who was kidnapped from her family and taken to a Native American boarding school. And her memoir is called The Land of Red Apples. Um, it is linked below for you, and there is a lot. I can't show you the link in the video because it takes me out of the recording. This is a very lengthy uh, memoir with questions for the kids to answer that you can print. Let's see. All right. Then you do Zitkalasau's point of view towards Native American schools, just like Captain Pratt's. Here is a mini lesson on um, they're getting ready to find out that a person named Miriam went into Native American boarding schools. He was really a health inspector. And he went in to um, see if the children were being treated well and if they were clean. And so this is a little mini lesson on what the health inspector does. And then they do a whole little, this is a jigsaw lesson that they'll do called the Merriam Report, where they read parts of the Merriam Report, who is the person who wrote the health inspector. And they have to see um, what schools were really like and how the kids were actually mistreated. All right, there's all kinds of vocabulary attached with that. I do have a sample of exemplary annotations from a sixth grader that I teach for your reference. Then they're going to complete a diagram on uh, Native American boarding school. Um, there's all kinds of activities in here. Set up your notebook. Um, and then they look at documents and they decide for themselves what part of the Merriam report this actually goes with. So they'll look at like, here's a photograph. And they'll look at what they researched about the Merriam report and they'll decide which part of the Merriam report this document would fit with. All kinds of documents in here. Okay, here's a really cool activity. You, you have access to this document. It's linked below. 
Um, Pop is the main character's father. Um, and he actually takes his son and drops him off at the Native American boarding school. And so you're, you try to get the kids to figure out his point of view towards the school and why he would take his son there. More chapter pages. Here's, they're going to write an objective summary. Very step-by-step -step guide on how to get them to write a summary. Here's another analysis. This is the second chapter of Zitkalasaw's memoir. So they analyze it more. There's questions all through here for the kids to answer. And then writing a raft. That's just a paragraph written response. Um, here's a prompt. Here's a template for how to write a raft. Here's a rubric and then a slide for raft writing time. Um, then here's another mini lesson, different perspectives of Indian boarding schools. So there is a Native American boarding school in America that gives out, um, I think it's right here. This is the literature that is still given out today and it makes it look like um, it wasn't such a bad thing after all. And so the kids have to read this and analyze um, what's still being um, talked about today in this time. Then they read chapter 12. They analyze the connections that they just made from what they just read with chapter 12, then with chapter 13 as well. Um, here's a map of what the Carlisle school, this is actually where Captain Pratt was, was at Carlisle. Here is a lesson on Rudyard Kipling who wrote the Jungle Book. He wrote a poem that's an allusion in Two Roads. And so um, it's a little mini lesson on why Joseph Bruchak would choose to put this into his book and making all kinds of connections with academic conversation. My school is very big on academic conversation, so it's everywhere. And then all the, looking at quotes, analyzing quotes. Here's a fun lesson. Um, let's see about hair. So this slide generally has everybody in the sixth, all the teachers on the sixth grade hall has a picture of us when we were younger with big hair. Um, a lot of them are from the eighties and nineties. So the kids love this. I took our pictures off. Clearly I don't want them, you know, out in internet land. Um, but you talk about the significance and how hair should be a choice, but what if your choice um, of your hair is taken away because the Native American children, their hair was cut and their um, hair was very symbolic to them in their culture. So it's all about the study of the American um, Indian culture. Um, whole lesson on that. Then on, here's a whole lesson on how you speak because one of the main characters that you're going to meet, if you've not read the book yet, his name is Possum. That's actually his nickname. And his real name is Charles. And so Possum learns how to do what is called code switching. Like he speaks one way to friends and then others, uh, he speaks another way to authority. So they analyze all of these quotes from Possum and you talk about why he would be a code, code switcher and it's for survival. Um, here is review of theme topics, theme statements, more chapters, reading of the chapter here is another, this is something where they read a chapter and they answer questions. They do that with their book club. Um, here is a song called the Cherokee Rose. Um, they get to analyze a song like poetry and look at the verses and talk about what it means. This obviously is relevant to the Trail of Tears. Um, and then here are some rafts, which are the written paragraphs that students wrote. And you have your, you show them to the kids and have them analyze them with the rubric. They actually really enjoy this because they're harsh graders. Um, then just vocabulary work, a lot of vocabulary work. Here is something that my school does, which is the metacognitive log. And all it is, is choosing quotes and then responding to it. So here is one that a teacher, I think a teacher wrote this. This is something that's very high level. So if your school really needs high level teaching, you just pick a quote, you learn to respond to it, and then you do an analysis of it. Um, it's a three-step process, and all of my slides walk you through it step by step, including the quotes that they could possibly pick. And then all of the directions and all of the support are on these slides. I even have a slide if they can't find a quote.
you can give them one. Um, and then there's lots of samples of metacognitive logs that students did, and then they get to analyze those as well. Here's one that a teacher wrote. It's actually two different ones. Then the finishing of the chapter, more steel work, where they're analyzing um, or looking at the characters more deeply. Then we're at the end of the book. Um, you talk about the name of the book. And then here's more about what happens at the end of the story. President Herbert Hoover is a part of the story in the bonus army. You can see live footage um, and then what really happened. And then this is the two roads final project and you have access to it. It's a choice board. Um, I actually sell this separately on teacher pay teacher, but I included it in this slide deck for you since you purchased the slide deck or may purchase the slide deck. It's on, it's linked right here. Um, so it is included. You don't have to buy it separately. All right. I hope this helps. Enjoy. Thank you.